Hello everyone, today I'm going to discuss the example 2 on relative equilibrium of liquids. So here is the problem, an open tank 3 meters long, 1.8 meters wide and 1.5 meters high contains water to a depth of 1.2 meters. It is moving parallel to a pair of longest sides. So determine the following, the maximum acceleration without spilling any liquid. The unbalanced force causing the acceleration in part 2.1. The volume of water spilled if accelerated at 3 meters per second square. And the volume of water retained when accelerated at 5.4 meters per second square. So let's draw the details of this problem here. We have a tank filled with water to a depth of 1.2. The longest side is 3. So acceleration is parallel to this longer, longest pair of longest sides. So the overall depth is 1.5. So that means this empty depth is 1.5 minus 1.2, so 0.3 meters. So for the first question, for maximum acceleration without spilling any liquid, the resulting surface would cross the point of symmetry here. So this is 0.3 and this should be half of 3 or 1.5. So this drops also, this intersects or this water surface drops to 0.3 meter also so that this remaining depth here is 0.9, 1.2 minus 0.3. So let's call this theta 1. So tangent theta 1 equals Ax max over G, 9.81, which is also equal to 0.3 over 1.5. So tangent theta 1 is Ax max over G, 9.81 equals 0.3 over 1.5, where 1.5 is half of 3. So Ax max can now be computed without spilling in liquid 1.962 meters per second square. For the unbalanced force causing the acceleration in part 2.1, so it is mass of water in the tank times the resulting acceleration Ax max. Where the mass is density of water times volume, the density is 1000 kg per cubic meter, and the volume is 3 meters times 1.2 meters times 1.8 meters perpendicular to the screen shown. So the mass is 6,480 kilograms times acceleration meter per second square, 1.962 meters per second square, so that would be in newtons. Let's convert it to kilonewtons by, con by dividing everything by 1,000. So Fe is 6,480 times 1.962 over 1,000. So the unbalanced force is equal to 12.71 kilonewtons. Another way of computing this unbalanced force is that's the difference between the hydrostatic force on this rear end and the hydrostatic force on the front end. So let us show that. So in, in short, it is equal to F1 minus F2. And remember, this hydrostatic forces is specific weight of water, barred H times area, where the area is rectangular, 1.8 by the depth. So 1.8 times 1.5 for F1, that's the area, contact area. And for F2, the contact area is 1.8 by 0.9 because this is 0.9 meter. So Fu is F1 minus F2, where F1 is gamma of water, 1.5 over 2, that's the word H. And the area is 1.8 times 1.5, while F2 is 9.81, bar H is 0.9 over 2, and the area is 1.8 times 0.9. So 9.81, 0.9 over 2 times 1.8 times 0.9. So computing for Fu, it will also give us 12.71 kilonewtons. Then for 2.3, the volume of water spilled if accelerated at 3 meters per second square. So uh, because 3 meters divided by 9.81 is less than 1.5 over 3, which is this is 0.5. Therefore, the resulting surface will be as shown for question number 3. So this is the resulting surface. It crosses above the front bottom corner because the, the ratio 3 over 9.81 is less than 1.5 over 3. So that's the expected surface, resulting surface for 
the third situation. So we will call this Y3. And therefore, this is air. So the analysis is the volume that is spilled because this is the liquid surface without spilling any liquid. So when this is the resulting liquid surface, a certain amount will be spilled. Since this is replaced by air, so I'll call this volume of air final. Then the initial volume of air is this one. Therefore, the volume spilled for situation 3 is equal to final volume of air minus initial volume of air. So I'll call that theta 3, the slope of this surface. So tangent theta 3 is equal to 3 meters per second square over 9.21 equals y3 over 3. So y sub 3 is 0.9174 as expected, which is less than 1.5. So volume spilled is volume of air final minus volume of air initial, where the final volume of air is represented by this triangular wedge, which is one half of 3 times y3 times 1.8, while the initial volume of air is 3 meters by 0.3 by 1.8. So volume spilled is one half of 3 times 0.9174 y3 times 1.8. The initial volume of air is 3 meters by 0.3 by 1.8. So volume spilled is equal to 0.857 cubic meters. Then finally for 2.4, the volume of water retained when accelerated at 5.4 meters per second square. So this time, 5.4 over 9.81 is greater than 1.5 over 3, so the resulting surface will cross the bottom. So this is the resulting surface, we'll call this theta 4, and we will call the distance from this corner to this point of intersection as x, so that the volume of water retained is represented by this uh, volume of water enclosed by these boundaries here which is one half of x times 1.5 times 1.8 meters wide. But let's solve for x first. Tangent theta 4 is equal to 5.4 over 9.81, and it is also equal to 1.5 over x. So solving for x, 2.725 meters. So volume retained in the tank is equal to one half of x times 1.5 times 1.8 perpendicular to the board. So 1 half of x, 2.725 times 1.5, this depth here, that's the area of this triangle, then times perpendicular to the board, 1.8 meters. So volume retained is equal to 3.679 cubic meters. So that's all for this problem too.